Hello everyone, and welcome back to all the mods uh, 7. I almost said 6, I almost slipped up. Um, in the last episode, we actually did something pretty big. Um, for one, we made a hammer. It's, it's pretty cool, it can dig, and importantly, it can mine, you know, diamond ores and stuff. It can mine obsidian, um, and it only cost us one diamond, and it can be repaired with cobblestone. Pretty crazy. Um, we also upgraded our normal pickaxe. You might see it's now no longer diamond tipped, and it's actually uh, netherite tipped. Which means, that, as you might have caught on by now, we actually got our hands on some netherite. On top of that, we figured out a pretty decent way to actually triple the ancient debris we get. Um, so you chuck it in a crusher, then you chuck it in the enrichment chamber, and that's pretty much it. The crusher turns one ancient debris into three netherite scrap, and then the um, the enricher turns... Or, or not netherite scrap, sorry. It turns it into like netherite scrap dust or something like that. Um, and then you can enrich it into netherite scrap. So pretty cool setup that these things are very easy to make like these three machines are all you need and they're scary to look at but they're, they're very simple to set up um so yeah like we spent most of the episode making this hammer and uh you know doing all that stuff so i also i wasn't sure what i wanted to spend the netherite on i couldn't remember i was like did i want to make manulin because this stuff right here actually you can craft it together with some netherite oh it's netherite scrap Oh, we might not be able to make the manual. Um, but, but like, this was an option. There's a few options there. Um, I completely forgot about the most important option. Uh, phenomenally important. Uh, check out this. This is going to revolutionize the way you play the game for probably, like, one more update. <laughs> so, th this, this episode is going to get dated really quickly. Um, you you'll see why in a second. I'll, I'll explain everything. So, if, you if you're a little bit confused as to what's happening, we'll, we'll walk you through it. The wireless terminal from Tom's Simple Storage Mod. <laughs> so this guy's pretty cool in of itself. I mean, he's not too cool, but he's pretty cool. Essentially, as you can see, our terminal up there, when we look at him from a distance, it gets a white outline around it, and you can actually, you can open it from this distance. Obviously, normally, I can't open that, right? That, that's very far away. But from about 16 blocks, as you can see, we, we can't do it from here, but if we walk a little closer, you can open it. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. If we sleep real quick, I'll show you what's even cooler. Allegedly, we chuck a little bit of netherite on this bad boy, and it's going to be pretty cool. Um, now, now, the reason why I say that it will only be cool for a little while is apparently the word on the street is that this storage setup, this mod, is quite laggy when you're playing on a server. As in, when you have like, you know, a hundred different bases and they have the, this mod and they're all using Tom's simple storage mod because it's it's simple and it's a storage mod, um, it gets pretty laggy. So I think they're planning on getting rid of it, which means that this is going to be a short-lived uh, little buff. But I'll, I'll show you regardless, just in case for whatever reason you want to stick around with it. Um, but we can upgrade this guy if I press U on him in a smithing table, which I'll have to craft, with a piece of netherite, and we will get this guy, the advanced wireless terminal. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. So a smithing table, that's going to be some planks, um, and some iron ingots. There you go. Pretty simple stuff. Um, this guy, doo -doo -doo, to be honest, we don't need this many um, little ovens. Smithing table can go there. There we go. And so, I'm going to chuck in my wireless terminal. And now, I'm aware this netherite ingot is essentially getting voided, especially if this mod gets removed, I imagine. Unless they're adding recipes to uncraft everything. Mm, possibly. We'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to see what happens. Um, but... I'm going to do it. It's worth it for the sake of the content and honestly, for the sake of the rest of this episode, because I'm, I'm going all out. Okay. All, all, all in. I'm going all in and all out. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, but anyhow, here is the advanced wireless terminal. So if we hold shift, we can learn about it. Shift right click a terminal to bind it and the range becomes 64 blocks. So I'm going to shift right click and I believe now it's bound. Yep, you can see bound advanced wireless terminal. The, the text was right above my hotbar. It, it disappeared, so hopefully you guys saw it. But I believe this guy, I could be wrong, but I believe if we look over the uh, terminal there, you see it doesn't light up white. That's because, check out this, you can right click from anywhere. You do not have to be looking at the terminal. You just, I can be over here and I can be like, oh. In fact, I'll, I'll show you what you can do. You can be like, oh, you know what? I'll grab all this stuff. I'll open my terminal and I'll put this stuff away. I, I mean, how phenomenally beautiful is that? Like, oh, oh God, the, the, the title from this, uh, the salesperson here scared me. Um, but yeah, I mean, how cool. We can grab all this stuff. There we go. Oh, I don't want that in my inventory. Da, 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 da. Oh, what else do we need? We actually need some more bottles. So I'll grab two, two stacks of bottles here. You can get some bottles. There you go. 
we'll run over here. I mean, like, it, it's a must-have, to be honest. It, it genuinely is. Um, it's pretty cool. Now, that is not all that this this bad boy in my hand um, allows you to do. Now, <laughs> this is definitely going to be a dated video because I, I think they're really trying to get rid of this uh, mod to save the servers. <laughs> And I'm now, I'm now, I'm doing like worst case scenario. Not only am I still using it, right? Still using this storage mod, but I'm going all in, you know? I'm showing off even more reasons to use it. So I'm probably going to be, I'm probably like the most hated person by every single, by every single All The Mods 7 uh, server manager at the moment. But if you're in single player, hey, enjoy yourself. Treat yourself to something nice. Um, so yeah, what were we saying? Um, advanced wireless terminal. So as you saw, there's a lot more text here than just the range of 64 blocks. Um, what it says next is build a level one beacon in an eight block radius of the bound terminal to make it accessible from anywhere in the same dimension. What that means is if we get a beacon, which I mean, hey, to be honest, it's a pretty tall order. Like we need a nether star. And I don't know if you guys know, <laughs> I don't think we're able to get a nether star. Um, we might be able to cheese a nether star. Like, to be honest... This seems like a really cheaty way to get your hands on a nether star. Soul sand, wither skeleton skulls, which you already need to spawn the wither, right? And then one of these predictions, which you get from, um, from, from Enderman. Yeah, you get it from Enderman, which you can do without even having to go into the end or anything, right? Oh, that's, that's actually really good. <laughs> we might do that. We might genuinely do that. Um... So, so we can actually probably get our hands on a nether star realistically without even fighting the, uh, the, the wither. Um, which is pretty big because the wither's pretty strong. Like, I, I mean, look at me. <laughs> look at my character. I am not equipped for battle in the slightest. In the absolute slightest. So, I like the sound of that. The other option is, though, I do believe you could probably get... I think it's a mob crusher, right? No, there might not be a mob crusher in this pack. Do we have um, Industrial 4 going? We do not. I've only just realized. Okay. Because I was going to say you could grind up the wither. That, I mean, that's an option. Um, but yeah. But yeah, if you do that, if you make that beacon uh, within eight blocks of this terminal, so we could slap one probably in the middle of the island, right? Shooting into the sky or something. That would allow us to open this guy from anywhere. Anywhere in this dimension. I could be, I could be, I don't know, all the way over here. And I could just open it. Yeah, just open it. Put all my loot away, keep mining, that sort of thing, which is awesome. And then, as you saw, there was, there was more, there was more. Um, so if you build a level four beacon, so you just upgrade that beacon to a level four one by adding the extra um, layers of blocks under it, you then have, drum roll please, the ability to open it from anywhere. W what's the difference between level one and level four then? I mean anywhere, I mean in the nether, in the end, anywhere. You just open it up, boop, 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 put your stuff away. That's pretty cool. Um, so... How do we start working our way towards that? Because to be honest, I, I want to at least work towards it. Even if the mod gets removed, the things we're going to make in order to, I guess, work towards that beacon, um, we can still use for other things. Like it's not a, it's not just a beacon only for this, right? There, there's some other uses for all this stuff. So what are we going to do? I want to set up a simulation chamber and a loot fabricator. Now, one of these, I think it's actually the loot fabricator actually needs a piece of netherite. So I am lucky that I've still got this extra one or else we'd have to do a bit of mining. But let's let's give this a shot. So um, I, I'll, I'll craft these blocks or at least I'll try to. Do we have the ability to make ender pearls? We actually do. We have a few ways. We can use the ender pearl fragments that you actually get from killing endermen. So we only had enough for one there. Um, but also you might've seen there's another thing. This guy here, the nebulous heart, you actually get that guy from um, killing endermen as well. It's like a rare drop. And it's worth three, and why not, I guess? Worst case scenario, we go into the nether and farm some endermen. P pretty simple. Um, we'll make a comparator. Um, so what this mod does is it essentially allows you to get mob drops without farming mobs to a certain extent. So, so the, the benefit of that is like playing on a server. Obviously, having mobs everywhere is very laggy. Like, for example, the amount of bees that we normally have flying around our base probably wouldn't fly on a server. Both figuratively, they wouldn't fly because it'd be lagging around everywhere. And also the moderators would probably not like to see that. So in single player, it's beautiful. And you can set up these massive mob farms with like, you know, 50 mobs all getting ground up nonstop. But but on a server, that's not really viable. And I mean, in single player, it's not really scalable as well. You'll, you'll get pretty laggy. Um, so this mod here, 
this hostile neural networks, it allows you to farm them more efficiently, uh, arguably more efficiently, and with no mobs, so, so server friendly. Um, so, did we make this guy? No, here we go. What's at the top? A glass pane. I think we actually do have a glass pane. Yeah, here we go. So glass pane, here we go. Simulation chamber, we're gonna make one of these. And then we also, I think we need a loot fabricator. We might not actually need a loot fabricator. I think we do, but we might not. Um, should we craft one anyway? I'll tell you what, we'll start crafting one. And by that I mean, we're gonna make a bunch of these. I'm gonna make, um, I think I want 16. We ran out of flint. <laughs> I've been farming charcoal, and this whole time I should have been farming flint. Um, <laughs> give me a second. How do we get flint? Um, oh, oh, the crafting recipe in my inventory. I was gonna put these guys through a machine. I, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> and we can just open our inventory and continue crafting. Man, we, we're living in the future right now. Um, so I'm going to turn these coal balls into diamonds. Um, I've been doing that in the past few episodes, so I'm not going to explain it too much, but you can turn coal into diamonds. So that's the diamonds taken care of. Um, and then what else was it? Um, another comparator. Yeah, simple. Nice. Realistically, um, I should make a bunch of these torches, but we don't have much redstone. So it's, uh, uh, you know, I'm sort of rationing my redstone. So <laughs> I apologize for you seeing me craft these every few seconds. Um, but that's pretty much the loot fabricator. Um, the other piece we're going to need here are actually these prediction matrices, I believe. And then we also need, I believe it's called a data model. So if we search data, you can see, yep, here it is. Um, model framework, right click on an entity to build a data model. We need this guy. So that's gonna need smooth stone and a redstone repeater, <laughs> crafting more torches. The worst part is the torch recipe doesn't drag in the sticks. <laughs> so it's, it's really, it's, it's man, it's, it's a rough time all around. Um, the smooth stone, does anyone remember? Yep, it's stone in the furnace. Um, how many do I want to process? We'll, we'll get 16. You know, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get 16. There's no harm there. <laughs> um, so, oh, oh <laughs> it smelled so quickly. Um, we'll grab this guy, model framework. So, <laughs> what do we have? We have model framework, we have simulation chamber, um, and then the next piece is going to be, well, the diamonds for the loot fabricator, but that should be fine. Um, in fact, I can speed this guy up. And ladies and gentlemen, diamonds are complete. Um, I should put these back, that should be fine. Um, but before I do that, da -da 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 -da, drum roll, loot fabricator, here it is. It's gonna cost another right. So hopefully we don't regret crafting that, but there it is. <laughs> um, now these guys, do they need power? Maybe, maybe, maybe they do, maybe they don't. <laughs> I, I'll tell you what, we're gonna find out. Um, so I'll slap them down. Oh, you know what? They look far too beautiful. Do I not have a tool that's worthy to mine these up? No, I don't. I was, <laughs> I was gonna pick them up and move them. I, I'm not allowed to. You can see in the top left, no tool. I, I cannot pick them up. Um, <laughs> give me a second. What, what's it called? Um, hostile neural networks. Hostile neural. Do they have a wrench or something? <laughs> no, they don't. Okay, we're gonna um, yeah, we're we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and leave them there. I was gonna move them so I could see the 3D um textures. Oh, we've got to look at it with shaders on. By the way, using complementary shaders. I mean, just as beautiful, if not a little bit more beautiful. I like it. I, I love me a good 3D texture. Like, look at how much that adds. Just that little little indentation it has, the popped out like buttons almost. It's pretty beautiful. I, I, I like that some mods, um, th they're able to put the effort in to do that. Like, I, I'm sure this is not easy to do. So it, it's pretty cool. Um, okay, <laughs> what do we do with these machines? Well, there's a simulation chamber um, and a loot fabricator. If we open the loot fabricator up, it does nothing, or well, it does need power, so we'll have to hook that up at some point. Um, what you actually do with this guy is you place in um, predictions, right? You place in mob predictions. So for example, we could place in um, a blaze prediction, and what that would do is it would allow us to get blaze rods. Pretty cool, right? Um, now, how do you get the blaze prediction? Well, you need to run some simulations. So every time you run a simulation for blazers, you have a chance, now I hope I'm explaining this right, the mod might have changed, but this is how it used to work and I'm sure it works slightly the same, okay? But I do apologize if it's a bit different. But what you do is you run a simulation on a blaze, right? On killing a blaze. And so there's a percentage chance that you're gonna get a drop, right? And so if this simulation is successful, then you get a blaze prediction, right? You get one of these little goodies. You put in a, a prediction matrix and you have a chance to pop out a, predi a, a blaze prediction. So. That's how you get that. You put the prediction in here. You get to pick your, like your mob drop. Bada bing, bada boom. 
It sounds too good to be true. To be honest, it is pretty good. Um, now, how do you run that prediction, right? Well, we've got this. We've got the model framework. So, as it says, right-click on an entity to build a data model. Now, I could go hunt down a blaze. I could go hunt down something worth hunting down. I've also just realized I don't have my map. I've, <laughs> I've clicked something and I don't have my map. And I would actually like my map. Is there... Uh, mini map control J. There's no shot I pressed control J somehow, and yet, and yet I did. <laughs> okay, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for a mob, just any old mob. Um, I thought I saw a mob on the map. Am I am I crazy? I feel. I'm gonna find a mob. I'll I'll be back. You know what? I'm pretty silly because I believe we have some mobs over here now. I don't know if these mobs work. We could probably actually look through here. Oh yeah, cow prediction. Check out that. So. What I should be able to do is right-click on a mob, like a cow, and now, as you can see in our hand, we have a little cow prediction, or, or a cow data model, should I say. It's pretty, I very much like this uh, little texture we have, where it's like an actual little hologram. Um, so, if we hold shift on this, you can see the current tier is faulty, data collected is 0 out of 6, data per kill is 1. What that means is if I kill 6 of these, it will uh, fill up that data collected, and it'll level up, I guess, to a new tier. And the simulation cost is currently 128 um, forge energy per tick, right? Um, so, what does that mean? That means it's, I think it's, I mean, it doesn't seem too expensive to run, but I think it is. Um, I'll tell you what, we could probably just give it a shot, right? <laughs> I mean, why not? So all I've done at the moment is just right click on the mob. I haven't farmed any, I haven't killed any, um, and we're gonna put it to the test. I also realized I should have teleported. Um, over here would have saved a lot of time. Um, did we have cables with us? Does it matter? Can I just grab LV cables out of here? Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah. Um, oh, but how do I run the cables? <laughs> mm, if only I could pick them up, but I can't pick them up. Um, what do I do here? How do I, how do I power these? I could probably, let's pick up this guy. <laughs> we'll just move our wireless charger over here for a second. Um, how, oh, how much power is this using? I mean, they're trying to charge up. We'll see how much power, how much power this needs, I guess. So how much will this get? I imagine it'll get like twelve thousand. Yeah, twelve thousand five hundred. That's about half that this guy stores. Um, I think, or maybe a little bit less. Oh, what? Whoa. Uh, whoa. The bar. No, I'm. I'm not gonna lie. The bar kind of doesn't look like it represents how much power I put in there. It kind of looks like it's representing how many is that? Uh, three to eight hundred million. Our forge energy? <laughs> Anyhow, um, in the top left, it still says 12.6, so I don't think it's actually broken. It might just be a visual glitch. I'm going to place in the data model. Now, I believe it goes in the top left, and so now the simulation is going to begin. Oh, or it's not. Insufficient data in model. Please insert a basic model or better. So it, it's it's faulty. It doesn't work. So, so I guess we do actually have to farm some mobs. So I guess keep that in mind if you're going for like a... um a blaze or an enderman you will have to actually you know farm up enough to level them up and i'm not sure if um it's only this one that like only needs six kills the other ones might be different i i'm not too sure but anyhow we do happen to have at least six cows here so i might actually what does more damage what is my my this this does seven attack this does six attack i might as well just use this it, it charges a lot faster so i'm gonna try to get rid of one of these cows so that's one down and if we hold shift here, it didn't change, did it? No, it really didn't. We're still at six. Okay, what if I just put it in the hot bar? Maybe putting it in the offhand didn't work? I probably should be farming them as well, shouldn't I? Anyway, let's see. Bam. Oh, okay. They're, they're, they're playing hard to get. All right, we'll, we've killed another one. Let's compare again. Okay, it still says zero out of six. So I have a feeling that we're doing something wrong here, um, which is a little bit odd because I didn't think we were. Um, but... There is something we can try that I think might get this going. So if we open our terminal again, you might have saw I, I bookmarked something else um, earlier as well. Um, this guy here is the deep learner. Displays a HUD when held and models are within. Or displays a HUD when held and models are within. So it will display the, it'll, it will display the HUD when the models are within it. Um, so what do we need? Of course, we need some more redstone repeaters. I think I just need to make six of these. We are burning through a little bit of our redstone, but I, I think we're good. Repeater, that's obviously stone underneath. There we go. And the rest is obsidian. We're going to need a glass pane in the middle and a little bit of redstone at the bottom. But there we go. Deep learner. So this guy, I believe we open. 
where you can place a data model in here. And as you can see, you can actually hold four of these, so it's pretty cool. It'll tell you some interesting things about them. And it'll also tell you it'll upgrade to basic in six kills. So basic is what we want. So we're going to have to kill six of them. Before we do that, I will breed them just so that like I don't absolutely obliterate all of our cows <laughs> and then have to go hunting for more. But realistically, after we farm these cows up to, um, you know, that basic level, I shouldn't have to worry about farming real life cows. I should just be able to run simulations. <laughs> that, that, that's the plan at least. We'll obviously see how well that, how well that goes. So I'm going to try again. We're going to see if we can get rid of one cow. And now what has that done um, with our, with our learner here? Um, there we go. Data collected one out of six. I only need to kill five more. Now I'm going to check after each one because we don't have too many cows and I don't want to risk this. I don't want to run out of the cows. Um, so let's open it up. Um, hold shift. Yep, two out of six. Beautiful. We're gonna keep it going. Um, I would test on the baby cows for you guys, but <laughs> that seems a bit morbid. Should I do it? All right, we're at three out of six. For those of you who do not want to see this, look away. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Okay, it was three out of six. Hey, it's now four out of six. I mean, <laughs> when in Rome, I, I mean, when in. <laughs> Is that now five out of six? It's five out of six. Listen, listen, listen. They know no better. Okay, li listen. It's not... Okay, we killed a few... It's fine. It's fine. They're gonna... They'll live a happy, prosperous life for the rest of their life. Anyway, we now have a basic data model. So to level this up again, it's gonna cost us an extra 44 kills. Oh, well, actually... No, sorry. It's only 11 kills because the data per kill is now up to four. B before it was at one. So I guess that's pretty cool. Um, we'll go back to the other area, which is actually a quick teleport if I use that more often. Um, this is still bugged out with the charge, so I don't know what that's about. But if I take this data model out, we should be able to open this up, place it. Hopefully you guys are following along. Hopefully I haven't sped up too quickly, but we'll place this data model in here. Cannot begin simulation, missing input prediction matrix. Okay, beautiful. Let's um, let's go ahead and try to get one of those. So if I, well, we've got a, book, got a bookmark here. This guy's going to cost us some glass panes, some gold, some lapis, and some iron. Now, I believe we're pretty much out of glass panes. Actually, we do have enough. I probably want some more. Um, I'll tell you what. We'll make a deal. I think I have some sand chips lying around. Yep, these guys. Let's make some extra sand. I'll take out half of that, and I'll smelt up the other half. Oh, not you. I'll place you in there. Put in two overclockers. And these off overclocks in here there. Okay, okay. We, we, we should now have plenty of stuff. Um, let's go prediction matrix. Let's go glass. Here we go, glass panes. So there we go. You get 16 per these. So it is going to cost you gold, lapis, and iron. So it's not too cheap, especially if you're making a lot of these. But we're going to open this up. And I'm going to chuck in 16 just by shift clicking them in. Um, and it cannot begin the simulation because it does not have enough power. Um, so, so this is bugged. The real power is in the top left. So we're going to have to figure out a different way to power these guys. What I might have to do is suck it up and do some proper wiring. You know what I mean? Realistically, this episode probably should have been about like fixing up my power gen because currently we've got a single generator. Um, but um, I, I don't know. I'm lazy. <laughs> is this guy even? Yeah, he's still got fuel. He's doing his thing. Uh, how easy, how difficult is it to power this stuff? Hmm. Can we use, I think, can you use cardboard box? Cardboard box. This might work. Mm, we don't have the machines to make it, though. I might, I might ignore that for now. <laughs> um, okay, how do we get more power? I mean, I could just run a really ugly cable right across here. <laughs> what are we thinking? Is this going to be the ugliest thing you've ever seen? Probably not, if you watch the videos. I've definitely done worse. <laughs> definitely done worse. But... I will admit, it is pretty ugly. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's just run this all the way like that. Oh, it's hideous. In fact, for now, this does not need to be plugged in. That might save us a bit of power. This doesn't even need to be here. That'll save us a bit of power. This guy, he's getting power. He's getting it slowly. To be honest, it, in the past, these cables, the longer the distance was, the more energy loss you had. So it is possible that that's still a thing. Let me potentially try this out. It, it, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'm not sure. Um, but I do sort of want to try to make it less of a distance. So let's potentially go over here, break that block there. Here we go. And now we can sort of spy a little bit underneath. Here we go. 
cables. How do I want to do this? Realistically, this cable should go there. We can pick up these. Oh, look at this. We are, we are remodeling. <laughs> these can go along here, along there. Um, we are going to need, oh, actually, yeah, we don't need another cable yet, but I mean, we will. So I guess I'll just make one. We're, we're running pretty low on copper again. <laughs> I've been burning through the copper. Um, this temporarily can actually just go back there. That should be fine. Um, okay, this guy's charging up proper speeds now. Or he should be. This guy's charging up, I guess. This guy's not charging up. He's he's getting no power. <laughs> this guy's charging up. Okay, nice. I really didn't want that. So I actually will disconnect you for now. <laughs> can I please? Yeah, I'm going to pick up both of these. I don't... <laughs> I want the power going in here. It's, it's pretty simple. It's, it's pretty simple. Oh, look at this. It's actually already running. Um, So we were at like 35,000 forge energy. I, I'm not sure what the exact number is. You, you might be able to pause and see it in the video. But as you can see, it's spamming some stuff. It's doing some, you know, technical jargon. Um, And as you can see, I think, to be honest, I think it's... Has it been failing or completing? I don't really know. But any, anyhow, it, it's been running. We've used up two of our prediction matrices and we've actually gotten these. Generalized overworld predictions. So I'm going to take these out and for starters, let's see what happens if I put them in here or if I even can. You know what? I can't. I believe, yeah. I believe if this succeeds, you get a cow prediction and you place that in here and you can pick the loot. So at the moment, this guy does nothing. This guy's still running. He's just waiting on some more power. Oh, look at that. 38,000 it was at. 38,000 and it can run. And... and Another thing to keep in mind, we have a 7% chance that it will succeed, right? So a lot of the time, it will fail, pretty much. But you might also see that, it, I feel like it's been going up. Yeah, I think it's been going up. Look at the left here. The data collected is going up as well, as if we've been getting, um, you know, kills or, or I guess data. Um, so if we leave this guy running, eventually he will level up. We'll get more accuracy and more chance to get proper loot, right? Um, but at the moment... What do we do with these guys? Are these just a waste? Do they do, uh, do they do nothing? I don't believe so. Check out this. If we combine them with seeds, you get like two carrots. Like there's quite a few different recipes here. You can make spider eyes with some ingredients. You can make rotten flesh out of pork chops. And we know that rotten flesh can actually be turned into leather. So that's a little bit of a leather farm you can do there. <laughs> but I guess if you're farming pork chops, you could probably just farm cows for leather. But you get the point. Look at this. Four of these and a rotten flesh will get you eight iron. Uh, I don't know why, but that's pretty good. That that's that's definitely a profit on top of the um the prediction matrices. These guys, you know, cost a, a an iron. So there you go, made your iron back. Um, you can make some arrows. You can make some nether predictions just by chucking in some netherrack. We'll actually bookmark that because I think you might be able to make blaze rods out of that. This is actually pretty good. Um, you can make some prismarine from some quartz. That's pretty good. You don't have to find a um little underwater temple. You make some gunpowder. Like, look, you bones. Uh, one bone meal equals 22 bones. Like, that is genuinely pretty insane. This is all without the loot fabricator, which means it's all with this guy, which does not cost netherite. So, like, it's a pretty decent recipe, to, to be completely honest with you. Arguably too good of a recipe. Um, cobwebs you can make. Potatoes, some grass. Um, and that appears to be it. Um, looking along here, it doesn't look like there's anything that would, you know, use them. I mean, already that's pretty cool. Now, if we follow along this um, this generalized nether prediction just by adding netherrack, what does this guy do? If we add iron and glowstone, we get back the gold that it costs for the prediction matrix. So we make a, we make a profit. Obviously, you need some glowstone. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if there's a recipe for glowstone in here because look, you can make gunpowder. I mean, make some nether warts. This is really good. Really, You can make gas tears. You can make blaze rods. Genuinely, oh, yeah. oh, so if we get into the end, we can make these. Hmm, I, I don't think that's worth it because if you're in the end, you're probably gonna be farming Enderman, right? You probably don't need this recipe, but um, I guess if you got Endstone a different way, we, we could look that up. Is there like a cheatsy way to get your hands on some Endstone, some granite, and some conjuration essence? <laughs> I guess, and then I'm, I'm sure there's some other wacky way in one of these mods, or, or maybe not, but. I'm going to be completely honest. I wasn't... If, if I looked at these recipes properly and knew exactly how much stuff you would get, this would be... I mean, it pretty much is one of the first things we've crafted, but I would have intentionally made this one of the first things we crafted because it is really good. Like, I, I'm pretty stunned. This definitely opens the doors to so many... So many mods. 
that I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> yeah, like, look, we get the gold, we get blaze powder, we get blaze rods. And already we've got, I mean, we've got plenty. I'm genuinely, uh, I, I don't know if you can tell, I, I am quite stunned. Okay. <laughs> so what do we do now? What do we do with this knowledge that we now have um, of how insane this guy is? To be honest, um, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't know. Um, I'll, t I'll tell you what, I do actually have a slight idea of something I want to do for the sake of videos. I kind of want to make a time in a bottle, but I, I won't do this this episode. But this guy here, the recipe is pretty cheap, realistically, and he allows you to speed things up. And I mean speed things up. Now, the reason why I almost don't want to do this is because, yeah, I, I don't know, I feel like it sort of takes a little bit away from the gameplay. So, for example, instead of waiting for this, I would be able to use time that I've built up by playing on the server, right? Or by, you know, being even just AFK in my world, right? Um, charges time in this time in a bottle. And then I can use it to increase the tick speed of this block, which would mean it would run super fast. It would be like, zoom, zoom, zoom. I could use it on my generator to fill up the power. It would burn through coal, zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> and, and it would, you know, finish them all very, very quickly. And it would generate power very, very quickly. But the problem is I would have no real, like, push to upgrade my power. Whereas at the moment, I'm like, oh, yeah, you know what? We do need to upgrade our power. Like, there's a lot of downtime where this guy doesn't run, where I could be, you know, upgrade my power or something. So there is that trade-off. But then again, like in the video, like I don't want to do power upgrades this episode. So I would be able to just speed it up and make it so that the power upgrades don't happen this episode because we've got plenty of power and we could do them in the next one. You, you know what I mean? Does, does that make sense? I think that does. So, so let me know if you want me to make this item um, to use because it's, at the end of the day, it, it is a preference thing. So I don't know. I don't know. I've, I've been having fun without it, but there's definitely been some times where like I'm waiting for something to craft and I've just been waiting. But then again, like that pushed me to make the overclockers and they've been really good. So, so I, re I really don't know. Oh, in fact, you know what I've just realized? I'm pretty sure you can slap it in this guy. Oh no, you can't. Oh no, I'm mistaken. I thought there was upgrade slots in here. Oh, <laughs> we've been pranked. Um, generator. <sighs> Basic generator, geothermal generator. It doesn't show us what this generates. I am tempted to make another one of these generators. There's also some other mods we could try out for generators. There's also honey generators. I mean, that's an option. There's solar panels. There's solar panels within the mod, the, like within FTB um, contraptions. Some generators. Yeah. Hmm. I, I don't know. Should I just... Hmm. I should just make another generator just quickly, right? I, I think we will. I think we will. I'm going to make another generator. It should be quite quick. <laughs> uh, famous last words, um, but we're going to do it. So what, what do I need? Oh, I just ruined everything. Alrighty, we need an iron furnace. So we'll craft one of those. We're going to need a low voltage battery. So we'll craft one of those. This has actually been incredibly quickly. We'll craft a basic generator. Hey, listen, you know, sometimes, sometimes it helps to just get stuff done. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I'm going to slap it there, apparently. Um, we'll grab out a stack of charcoal. Um, I'll split it up. That can go in there with that. And, oh, actually, yeah, that can all go in there. So there we go. <laughs> that should be more power gen. Um, so what have we got going now? Is this guy charging up pretty quick? Yeah, look at that. Because currently he's running and he's barely losing RF. You know what I mean? He still is losing. I, I keep saying RF. That's just a different term for um, forge energy. So I, I apologize if you're a little bit confused by that. Um but I reckon we need another generator. <laughs> I reckon we need another one. Um, here we go. Re Listen, remain calm. I'm not getting, you know, mad with power as I've realized how quickly I can craft these. I, th that's not what's happening. That's definitely not what's happening. I'm not... That's not... Okay, it might be happening slightly. That was also really easy to craft. <laughs> okay, okay. But, but, but it's fine. It's fine. I have a bit of a plan on how we can make this a little bit nicer as well. Ch check this out, check this out. You guys are gonna love this. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of remodeling. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Remain calm. We're gonna grab these. I'm going to... Do, 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 do. Uh, to be honest, I'm gonna slap them behind the wall. And I'll show you why in a second. Um, so we'll do this. Um, I, I'm gonna pick up these for now. These cables, we're gonna automate putting uh, stuff into these generators, but I have a different plan that you guys are gonna be led in on in a second. Let's go down here. Da, 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 da. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and how do I get them to you? 
Huh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I'm going to have to craft more. And I don't even know if we can. I don't know if we have the, the power. Um, actually, oh, 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 God. Oh, oh, God. I, okay, I, I need to craft a cable. I, I'm, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> LV uh, cable. Please have copper. Yes, 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 yes. Boom. Okay. So this stuff's all still set up. Like, that's fine. These are all running. We can hook that up. Beautiful. Things are happening. Stuff's flowing. Wonderful. Um, I'm going to sleep. And then I'm going to show you this. So, as you remember, we made a lot of mineral logs from that guy out there. Um, the Bodney pot. Or uh, the bonsai pot, sorry. <laughs> I said the wrong thing. Um, the bonsai pot, if we look him up, um, he's going to cost us some bricks. Um, which we actually have. How many bricks do we have? We have enough for two. So, I'm going to place one here. I'm going to place one here. And to be honest, I'm going to go steal this one. Yeah, I'm going to steal this one. Um, so, I'll pick this guy up. He needs a pickaxe to be picked up. Yoink. Um, I'm going to run down here. Da -da 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 -da. Um, and how should we actually do this? <clears throat> I could just drop them in here and have them so that they produce a tree. And then the output from the tree goes into here. That's an option. Do we do that? Maybe. Um, I don't want to do a mineral tree though, because that also makes like the crystals, right? And we don't want the crystals going in the generator. So if we search um, sapling here, we have a few options. I think I'll grab spruce. Reason being is the spruce trees, um, I don't think they even drop apples, right? Oh, they might drop like a bunch of berries though. Let's have a look. Now look, yeah. Oh, sticks, is, sticks get burnt. Saplings get burnt. Logs get burnt. I think even leaves might get burnt maybe. No, I don't think they do, but... But I think that's only if you put shears in there. Yeah, silk touch upgrade. So, realistically, if I chuck in spruce sapling, spruce sapling, spruce sapling, we're good. Now, obviously, we're going to need tools to enter into these bonsai pots. And we might be able to get away with that. Let me see if we can... Hmm. I'm going to craft a chest. Uh, yeah, I'm going to craft a chest because... Okay, I'm going to craft a chest. <laughs> I don't like that the wood doesn't go in there. Um... I'm going to place this guy down here. <laughs> this Listen, this might get a bit ugly. I, you might want to watch your eyes. Does that connect? It does. It's ugly, but it connects. Um, can I get more item pipes? I allegedly can. Oh, not cheap though. Two droppers. Um, I'm actually going to craft iron using that recipe we saw here with the rotten flesh. Why not? Um, we'll search pipes again. You ready? Check out this. This is going to be beautiful. Grab these. Um, we are going to need a wrench. I'll grab the pipe wrench. Why not? Um, so I'll place this guy here. And I'm going to have this chest output. So things are going to output from this chest and they're going to go into these. Then I'm just going to fill this chest up with axes. Uh, I think that's good enough. We're also going to need to put hoppers into these guys. So that's going to be more iron, which as you can see, we don't have much of. Now we do have iron in here, which I guess I can process. Um, but we don't have iron much else anywhere. Um, I'm going to slap it in there. I know we had the, uh, the smeltery, but was the smeltery better? <laughs> I honestly don't remember. Let, let's, where is it? We've got to be quick while we're smelting things. Um, two ingots and some nuggets. Yeah, it actually is better. Um, so we might, we might as well. Um, let me, let me switch this out for the, the cobble one is the coal one. I'm sorry. The melter. The heater. Sorry. It's called the heater. And this guy just takes, you know, wood, whatever. Ah, I, I hate doing that. <laughs> we'll do planks just for the sake of saving energy. Um, iron. There we go. And that's on. So that will pour. That will go into there. Beautiful. Alrighty. But anyway, um, we'll grab out the rest of these. Oh, we actually did get a cow prediction. Oh, awesome. Okay. We'll pause on that for a second while that processes. Um, in fact, I will chuck in the rest of this iron as well. If it'll... Oh, I'll have to wait. Um, we can actually check out the cow prediction. So, if we place one in here, as you can see, we can choose between leather and beef. It's quite, it's literally, that's it. It's that simple. You want leather? Boom. You, you'll you get eight leather. You want beef? You'll get beef. I honestly want leather. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, it's going to process. There we go. Eight leather. <laughs> Pretty cool. This stuff can be automated as well, I believe. Um, so essentially, you've got yourself, you know, a leather farm or a beef farm from this one little cow module you made. So the six cows you initially killed. It's, it's that simple. It'll just farm itself. All you need to do is provide power. And the prediction uh, matrices, which as you can see, we've used up. Um, yeah. 
Alrighty, but anyway, back to business. Um, we're actually gonna want more hoppers, which means we're actually going to want more chests. So we'll actually craft all of those. There we go. I'll actually put that stuff away, that away. Hopper, boom. Place these in, oh, what's that? Cooking pot. <laughs> no, I don't want a cooking pot. I want two hoppers. I want two hoppers. <laughs> Okay, so we're, we're almost we're almost done. We're, to be honest, yeah, we're almost done. Um, so in each of these, we'll go a hopper. See, so oh, I think I just put them all in this. No, I want one in each. So what that'll do is it will put the outputs in the inventory below it. I'm hoping that works that way. I'm not entirely sure, but I, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Um, and then I'm actually for this test, I am going to take out all the charcoal to really put it to the test. Um, then we want axes. Right, so I'm, I'll try and sort my inventory so it's a bit cleaner. We'll search X. Um, I'll probably make them out of stone because I, we've got a lot of it, I guess. So I'm just gonna make a bunch of these. <laughs> I'm gonna make a bunch before even testing if it works. And then I'm just gonna chuck the axes in here. Let's see, did they get placed in? <laughs> they didn't get placed in, it doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> that's, it's a little bit embarrassing because now we've just got all these axes. <sighs> but arguably it was worth the try. Really? You're going to do me like this? You're not going to... No? <sighs> okay, it was, it was worth a try. It was, it was definitely... I think it was worth the try. Um, I guess we'll just have to manually put the axes in, which, I mean, not the end of the world. Oh, I didn't even want to do that. Okay, can I... Go in there. No, I'm, I'm pressing the wrong button. Oh, no, don't. What are you... It's taking stuff off me. Um, axe... And axe. So there we go. And then as you can see, it's working perfectly. Now, I will agree, this is not the best way to do it, right? It's not the best way to do it in terms of, um, well, it's just not the best way to do it. Like, like it, would be, it would be much better to have these go onto a furnace where it smelts the um, wood up and then you have charcoal going in here. Infinitely better to do that. With that being said, I mean, these guys, they have very little downtime and I don't have to worry about fueling them at all. And this was a pretty easy setup. Like, am I wrong? This was pretty simple to set up. I, I'm pretty happy. Like, you gotta remember as well, these generators are very efficient to the point where like the stick that goes in lasts a decent amount of time. You know what I mean? It's not as instant as it is with the furnace. So these guys still might run for a little bit. Um, the only issue is obviously the stone axes, which to be honest, in hindsight, um, might have to be refilled more often than the um, than the charcoal normally does. We'll fix it in a different episode, okay? It'll it'll get fixed. <laughs> it'll, get, it'll get fixed. <laughs> but anyhow, anyhow, this guy. I mean, hey, we did what we uh, we almost did what we wanted to do. Obviously, obviously, I had strong ambitions. Where what did I want to do? I actually wanted wither skulls, and I wanted to farm. Oh, I clicked off. Sorry. Yo, wait, the video. Can you come back? Yes, okay, okay, you're back. <laughs> um, I wanted to obviously do the wither predictions, which needs a wither skeleton data model so that we can possibly get wither skeleton skulls. Sounds pretty cool, right? Um, this model, what does this do? Oh, 768 forge energy per tick. Hmm, and I'd have to kill six of them. I'd have to even find six of them um, with a skeleton data model or... Yeah, with a skeleton. Yeah, I need the prediction, don't I? With a skeleton skull. Is there any other cheatsy way to do this? Let me just let me have a look around real quick, just in case there's like a really easy way to do it. With a skull chip, withering soul. Okay, there's a few different things going on here. Um, all right, a blood infuser, loot fabricator, obviously with the with a skeleton thing. Um, some effects, some mob drops from a with a skeleton. Oh, from from a wild hunt with a skeleton, or from a with a skeleton. Um, this stuff, severing, that stuff. Okay, what about the weathered bone? Okay, that's from the skeleton. Um, the skull fragments, not sure. The honeycomb stuff, you get it from the honeycomb, you get it from the withered bee, the withered bee you get from skeletal and a wither rose, so you'd have to kill a, a wither for that stuff. Um, and then this thing drops from a wither. Okay, so, realistically, we need to find a wither skeleton. I, I do actually have a plan on how we do that. And it does involve the nether, but not, it doesn't involve a fortress. 
I think what we're going to do in the next episode, I, I could be wrong. Listen, two things might happen. <laughs> Three things, actually. We might upgrade our power. We might like redo this whole thing. We might use these, set them up with coal generators, We like, like with actual charcoal being farmed. We might set up a different generator. We might do solar panels. There's a lot of things that could happen. Um, we might also mine some of the modium, make a teleport pad, go into the other dimension, right? and see if there's any withers in that dimension. I believe there was in all the mod six, so we can try that out. Um, or we'll do none of that because I won't remember. So, th so there you go. <laughs> Those are the predictions for the next episode. Um, but hey, in the meantime, man, invest in one of these bad boys. Holy moly. All you need is, um, where are they? Some of these guys to keep, to keep, to keep the ball rolling. Um, glass, oh. Glass panes, we don't have enough. Boom, 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 boom. Now we have enough. Boom, boom, boom. Prediction matrix, boom, boom. I gotta put glass panes in manually because for some reason it doesn't want to draw them out. Prediction matrix. I'm, yeah, I'll make 32. I'll chuck those in there. And this can process throughout, I don't know, the rest of this episode and the next one. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you did learn a lot. I, I, I think I covered quite a lot to do, pr pretty much everything as far as I'm aware to do with the simulation chamber. So this guy, once again, he'll keep leveling up and that percentage to actually get a guaranteed cow output will level up and arguably that's not that good realistically like that's going to get us leather and beef but realistically we want these guys more we want the generalized overworld prediction um now i believe oh yeah oh actually hold on do you get this regardless you might get that regardless plus the chance to get the cow prediction okay might not actually be a bad idea then you know, yeah, I don't think it's a bad thing. We'll, we'll leave these in here and we'll see if we get 32 of them regardless. We'll see what happens there. Wait, wait, actually, already. Have we gotten 30? I'm, I'm not sure, but I don't know. <laughs> Clearly, I don't know everything, but ho hopefully I covered a lot. And hopefully you understood what we even talked about because it is a little bit scary. I, I, I will admit that. Um, so yeah, um, thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, th that's obviously the main thing at the end of the day. Um, hopefully it didn't ruin your day. <laughs> now, it'd be difficult for me to do that. But uh, I'm, I'm sure it could happen. <laughs> I'm sure we could arrange that. Um, thank you, of course, for supporting me financially. Even if you didn't realize, um, watching the ads on the videos helps me out more than you probably think. So thank you for doing that. Um, yeah, thank, thank you. Um, thank you, of course, to our donators and channel members. I still don't have anything set up in the video, like an actual area yet. Um, let me know if you guys like want that, you know what I mean? Or, or whether you don't care at all and whether I'm sort of just like, planning it but it's not really <laughs> worth doing um oh, oh I, I ate the berry um but yeah I, I, I would like to set up a little area it's just i don't really i don't really have the time to do it <laughs> as, as silly as that sounds but thank you guys for donating obviously you do not have to only donate if you're financially stable yourself it is purely a donation watching the um the ads on youtube that is way more than enough um you're, you're not expected to do anything else <laughs> believe it or not um so thank you guys for doing that and yeah this, this series has been fun. Hopefully it still is fun. Um, and hopefully it's fun for another... What episode are we on? Episode like 15, 16? Hopefully it's good for another 200 episodes. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. And hopefully I will, at the very least, see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Goodbye. Uh, that, that was probably the thumbnail before. I don't, I don't know if you caught me. But yeah, th this is probably like going to be the thumbnail or something. <laughs> All right. Goodbye.